This is crazy. For my Amazon drivers, we got five carts. We got a total 25 bags and two carts of overflow, over 29 packages. Oh my God, yo, this is a lot. Chris here and welcome back to the Amazon vlogs. Today is Sunday and we're delivering the day after Black Friday. So in the morning, I asked my boss, hey, I know it's gonna be a lot, let me know right now. And he said 160 stops. I was like, oh, okay, 160 stops, not that bad. But as you can see today, look how many bags I have. So I average between 10 and 15 bags or totes, wherever you want to call these bad boys. But today I have over 25 or 25 to be exact. And then we got 29 overflow packages, these big ones right here. We got three baby booster seats. And right here you can see all my stops. It's all covered in a small area. Like I said, 153 stops. 235 locations so that's like the true number for you ups and fedex guys and 350 packages which is a lot damn we're looking like a some sort of bulk route right now but for our first 50 stops we're gonna be in this residential gated area which is really easy to do and after that it's gonna just be normal houses what sucks about today as well is that it's gonna be raining starts at 11 i already seen raindrops and we just got to deal with that today. So I'm almost at my first stop right now. It's all the way up there. Uh, we're going to hit the gas station for some quick snacks. Because in this area, I'm not too familiar with it. And we're going to have to re-energize after, after maybe 60, 70 stops. So let's go get some snacks. Door. Damn. What's up, man? Okay, let's see, let's see. Let's grab. Gotta get baked. All right, thanks, man. Bagel, cream cheese. I saw those deals on uh, Amazon, the website, and I know you guys order a lot of stuff. So, all right, okay, let's do this. So the gated residential area, the GPS tells me to go up there, but. As you can see, there's a gate, and that's only for the residents. Since I've been here before, I know the gate is on the right side. So we're gonna go, like make go up here and make a left somewhere up there. That's what sucks about this GPS is that like, it always takes you to places that you shouldn't be going, but you go anyway. Oh my God. Sorry if it's kind of noisy in here. That's just the nature of these vans or these trucks. This is the area where drivers are supposed to go. Right here. Speed limit 15. Beep them. Oh, snap. Woo. Ah. Damn it. <laughs> One sec. Hey boss, how goes it? Sorry about that. What's up? Uh, 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 where you going? Uh, we're going. Ev we're going everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah. All right. Um, I'll just go ahead. Okay. Awesome, man. Thanks. <laughs> so yeah, this is the gated community. It looks like a normal, um, normal streets, normal houses, but everything is gated, <laughs> as the name suggests. Really big. A lot of acres. All right, our first package looks like it's a medium box and a yellow tote. Where are the keys? Keys are in my pocket. We didn't have a lot of time at the warehouse because they were really rushing us. But since I have so many packages, I couldn't organize them. So I can use this time to organize them now. I left the top shelf empty because I can just leave my overflows in order like that. And because the totes are way too heavy. They're not heavy heavy, but like you're using a lot of energy to put them at the top. GPS lied to me, guys. It's over here. Door. Pick. This bagel hits the spot. Oh, it's like a gift basket for me. <laughs> Is that for me? It's really early of the season. I appreciate it. I'll put it right here for you. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, thank you. 
I'm, I'm assuming it's for me. There wasn't a sign, but you know, it looks like a gift. Ugh. See, just laughed. It's happy right now. Oh my god, I hate these candies. It's so hard to peel. Right, two packages for this one. There's a sign for us. Let's see what it says. Oh wow, look at that. We appreciate that all you do to get our packages to us. Usually you see like a lot of no trespassing, no solicitating, don't ring the doorbell. But what a nice message. It made my day guys. Now I can deliver all these packages with a smile. Cause I don't just deliver packages here, I deliver smiles. Let's do it. Hello drivers and non-drivers. It's that time of year again. Yes, peak has officially started. This is the time of years that most drivers dread. But I think when you've been working for 6-7 peaks like I have, you kind of become numb to it. For me, that would be in the Amazon warehouse, being a FedEx driver, and now being an Amazon driver. For those who are first time drivers, get your knives and forks out because you're going to get a good taste of it. Anyways, I'm glad I was in the truck today because there's a lot of space I can work with. Pulling 25 bags in these trucks are no problem. Now for the cargo van drivers, you're probably miserable. How do I know that? Because sometimes they put me in there and I'm miserable, especially during peak season. When you have to fill up those small vans with 20 plus bags, it's not a fun time. I always see people post on the Amazon driver subreddit and I feel their pain. But that's pretty much peak for you. Pretty much how I expected here at Amazon. Even though it's peak season, my DSP still wants me to deliver in a timely manner. The reason being is that these routes that Amazon creates has this algorithm saying that you should finish at a certain time. I'm not really sure how I feel about it because I don't think the algorithm considers the input on the weather, streets under construction, and most importantly, ask how the driver's doing. If anyone's overwhelmed, I would just say, take it easy. You guys and girls got this. Also, check out my FedEx videos on my past peaks. Thanks everyone and stay safe. Looks like our only commercial stop today is a diner. Our only commercial stop is... Oh, hello, Thank Amazon. Thank you. Have a good day. Have a good day. Can I use your restroom? Yeah, it's around the corner. Around the corner? Thank you so much. These guys are Christmas ready. 23. In our little pouches, we get these lunch things. I never used them, but maybe we should use them now. Perfect. Oh, my eyes. Look at that. Oh, it's red too. I don't know who wore this, but I'm gonna wear it now. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm driving with the light on, on my forehead. And you can see everywhere I look has a little spot. You definitely shouldn't be driving this with the truck. Definitely not meant to do that. Honestly, it helps scan packages in the dark because you because you can't scan them in the dark like you can in FedEx due to the it's actually uh, using the camera instead of using like uh, lasers to scan it. So it's this house right here in the corner and watch. This is the scanner. That's what it looks like right now and it won't pick up. up. You got to press this little flashlight button and then boom, you can see it. Then you can turn the flashlight on for the picture too. Boom. Because if your photo is too dark, it's gonna count against you. All right, let's go. See, I got my headlight. Oh, it's so bright. <laughs> now I can't look through people's windows. Not that I would. <laughs> I can't be a peeping Tom. Oh, it's bright. Now I could scan it like this. Oh, wow. Check it out. Cool. And now I don't need the flash for the photo. Boom. People are gonna think I'm weird. Oh my gosh. Look guys, it's reflective. Prime, baby. The only problem is you can't turn it off with one click. I'll show you how lockers work. Just make sure my vehicle is secured. What's this? Uh, come in, come in. Very good. Matter of fact, I think she does. Okay, because remember, we do have to get a new one. Yeah, that's all right she now does. We're doing 
Ooh, sorry about that. <laughs> I know it's magic, right? Why I just lost about ten years. So I don't know if I'm going now, so I can't get him in and out of here. Oh, watch out! Ooh. Saved. Inside of him, I can't get him now. Boom, baby! Finito. What is it? Six o'clock? Finished faster than I thought. All right, now it's time to go eat. All right, all right, it's time for lunch. I have decided to go eat at Burger King. Why Burger King, you might ask? I have no idea. On my fast food tier list, Burger King is pretty low down there. It's probably like a C or D. But for some reason, I'm just craving it. Uh, can I get the number six, the meal? Yeah, what size? Uh, let's get medium. This is what the sandwich is looking like. <laughs> Honestly, I think McDonald's was better, but it's all right. Mm. All right, we are done. So yeah, that was a lot of packages. Right now it's 7.15. I started work at 9.45 and I'm hoping that this is the worst of the worst because Black Friday just happened. And wait, oh, I forgot Cyber Monday is tomorrow too. So we're gonna, this week's gonna be a lot, lot but I'm hoping it mellows out just a little bit. Yeah, more videos to come. Make sure you guys subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.